Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, what is good, YouTube? Your boy Bill Nicholson coming back with another quick video. Today we got the Air Jordan Four Thunders in the building. Now, this is a shoe that I actually really did want in the collection because after acquiring the Red Thunder, you know, people had speculation of the materials are, are better and blah 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 blah. And we're gonna get into that momentarily because I got both the Red Thunder and the Yellow Thunder in the building. This, at least my pair, <laughs> my pair, I know where I got my pair from, from the original Shot Drop on the Nike sneakers app. Uh, when I do early reviews, I don't like to do it unless it's coming direct from Nike. And I'm, I'm, no offense to any other store or anything like that. It's just that I know without a doubt that this comes direct from Nike. Um, and this is actually slated to release May 13th. So do I feel like this will be a hard cop for a lot of people to get? It depends, but I know that this is in demand. You got to keep in mind that we haven't seen the Thunders, at least in its original form since 2006, but then 2012, it also released. And also when it released, it came with like one of those Air Jordan hang tags, if anybody remember. And also in 2006, keep in mind that when this shoe released, it was $500. And of course it was featured on the Jumpman website, but it also came with a, if I'm not mistaken, like a laser inscribed Jordan jacket. That was kind of a value or at least a face value of $300. So you got the jacket on top of the 2006 Yellow Thunder shoe. And that kind of was a total of $500. Hey, 2006, $500 was a lot of money. 2023, $500 is still a lot of money. But with that said, it's done, man. You can see right here, got the flight box. And of course, if you haven't seen it already, probably did. I mean, people have had so many different <laughs> first impressions or first views of the Air Jordan 4 Thunder. And don't forget, this is why I say I like my things authentic from Nike. When we first saw the images, at least first images of the Air Jordan 13, <laughs> Air Jordan 13, Air Jordan 4 Thunder, we saw white stitching towards the toe area. So... You know, some people were even commenting, oh, I got to get my, my black magic marker and stuff like that. And thankfully, that was, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Again, this is why I don't like pushing myself to, to make sure I'm the first person because you're setting the tone for the release, right? And so people are thinking, oh, okay, this is what the, the Thunder will look like. It'll have white stitching, and, but it's not really the original all done. But your boy, man, let's get straight into it because, man, oh, man, oh, man. Of course... Got to get that size 13, and I don't know what is going on lately with size 13, but it seems like I can't even get my size. So again, thank you, Nike. And of course, got that little cement platted on the, the paper. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's, let's talk about this for a second, because I'm going to start off with the 2006. Let me put the box down here. The 2006 pair and the 2012 pair. Now, there were subtle differences between the two. Um, and if you're looking towards the air unit, the air unit in the 2006 version was actually darker than the 2012 version. So when we're looking at the Air Jordan 4 Thunder, at least the 2023 version, this has a white air unit. So I feel like that portion is closer to the 2012 version. And of course, another thing that is actually closer to the 2012 version with the 2023 Air Jordan 4 Thunder, uh, when you look on the outsole, right, of course you got that multi-directional herringbone um, design, but if you look towards the stars to the top, and correct me if I'm wrong, on the 2006 version, these stars were not as noticeable. So it wasn't, you didn't see that detailed design. So you saw that kind of on a 2012 pair. In 2006, you saw it, but it was a little bit dull. And it kind of had those comparisons as you're looking right there. So the, some subtle differences between the two. But for those that are wondering about the Red Thunder and the Yellow Thunder in terms of material, and if one is more premium than the other, no. <laughs> no, in fact, actually... Let's see if I can put this up. If you're looking at both of them, honestly, uh, I know the website says New Buck. I think some people believe it's Durable Buck, but 
I'm looking at this and they feel exactly the same. I'm the one that actually takes care of his shoes, but wears his shoes. And I'm feeling both of them. And honestly, I couldn't tell you whether I felt like the, the mesh, the yellow mesh, at least behind the netting, is, is more softer in terms of padding than the Red Thunder. Um, the tongue portion, though, when I'm looking at the tongue portion, if I were to feel the thickness of both, I would say that you... You're probably getting a little bit more, a little bit more padding in the Yellow Thunder than you would, you would with the Red Thunder. I, I felt like the the eye stays too. Like the eye stays, if you look at everything by design, it's similar. Now, if you're asking me which one I prefer, absolutely, <laughs> not a, without a doubt. And no, I'm gonna set the record straight on this. I am not a Pittsburgh fan, at least in terms of sports. The people, yes. The fans, the, the fans. The teams, no. Now, people say, oh, well, it looks kind of close to the Pirates. Maybe. Steelers, maybe. Depends if you go retro. I can, I can kind of see that. But this, to me, looks more like a, and I hate to say this, but a Boston Bruins type of yellow and black. Like, this doesn't have that mustard yellow, but it's kind of light yellow. I wish I had the 2006 version to kind of compare because that was also a difference between the 2006 Thunder and then the 2012 Thunder in terms of the yellow hue where the 2012 had more of a mustardy look. Sort of like the, uh, <laughs> I want to say class of 2012, but not that yellow orangey, if that makes sense. But comment below, let me know what you think of the whole yellow four, yellow four, the Thunder, Jordan four. I mean, honestly, looking at the, the back, of course, you see that hill tab, and quite frankly, by design, everything pretty much to me, if I'm being honest, is the same. So no, the material is not better for the Thunder than it is on the red, things of that nature. Um, and then you look on the ice days, man. I think that when you're looking at the shoe by design, I feel like you're looking like it's like a split. <laughs> it, it literally looks the same. That's That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like you're looking at the colorway is what makes this pop more than this. So don't look at it, in my opinion, as a material thing where this version is better than this version. Um, it's going to feel the same. But the one thing I did want to know is the insole. So let me see if I can rip out the insole for both pairs and see if there was a difference between one and the other. That's the only thing that I can think of because sometimes Jordan Brand, by design, they like to change out the insole. Uh, I think I've seen Dream Cell, the regular... Take this out here. Let's see which one did they put in here? They put Dream Cell in this one. Oh my goodness! So <laughs> let me pull out the. This is the the insole out of the Air Jordan Four Thunder, and it is Dream Cell. Um, and then here, I'm pretty sure the Red Thunder was not. I don't know if I can take mine out live, but I'm gonna try to do it. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I can already feel it. So it coming off. Yeah, that's what's going on. So yeah, no, this this is not quite not. Ain't dream so. Ain't dream so. Kind of like that foamy plastic design. You can see right there. But yeah, that's you're gonna feel a difference. And honestly, I've never. This is my first time on a Milton Nephew channel feeling this type of insole versus the actual regular insole you would normally get with a Jordan. I think by design, the newer Jordans they're getting these new Dream Cell insoles. So I gotta see how that feels in terms of a of a difference. So I knew there was some type of difference between the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunder and at least the Yellow Thunder. But I, in terms of the, the outer exterior design, no, there's not much of a difference outside of the colorway. But interior, we'll find out about the cushioning. But also, that's the same, like I said, when you look at the Air unit for both the Red Thunder and the Yellow Thunder, you can see that they're both white. So I think by design, in some cases, there may be similarities. At least they, they want to try to make this say, like this is the original pair, the 2006 pair, but I feel like it's more so colorway. By colorway, this is closer to the 2006 pair, but by design, I think it's closer to the 2012 pair. I don't know. You be the judge. But your boy, Mel Nipson, man, whew, man, can't believe I got these. Air Jordan 4 Yellow Thunders. Don't forget, we'll be releasing May 13th. 
Can't wait to put these on. Actually, let's do the one for you right now. Your boy, Melvin Mr. Mad, I am out. You guys, stay blessed. <laughs>